Praise the Lord. Welcome to AIM. Guys, it's a beautiful day that the Lord has made. I am rejoicing and I am glad in it. God is so amazing. His wondrous works he does for men. I thank God for my life. I thank God for strength. I thank God for recovery. I thank God for all the medicinal things he put on the, the planet for us. For us. This is my guava tree, guys. If you've seen it in some of the first videos, you'll know that this thing is doing really well now. Yep, it was a hot mess when we first got here. It's doing really well. Um, somebody suggested putting the dog's poop there in the hole and they won't dig and it has worked so far. So thank you for that. We got plenty of dog poop. Um, I just wanted to show you guys around. I finished the chores down there. Um, it's another farm day. It's not easy guys. It's not easy. This life isn't easy, but it's fulfilling, and it's wonderful, and it's far better than the life we live of going to work for a paycheck, and, you know, it's hard to get ahead. So this is the sprinkler I set up. You see, it's getting the leaves of the cassava. It's coming all the way here. <laughs> it's coming all the way. I have to move. I think we're going to fix the holes in the hose right there. But I put them over there because that side of the garden gets really, really dry. So it seems like so far it's doing okay. I'll probably... I probably have to move it back on this side. I don't want to get too much water over there. Some of these are doing good though. The ones that my husband planted, he's waiting for them to get a little bit taller before he plucks them and brings them and plants them. So we're going to let that get a little bit taller at the farm and then bring it. I think this corner is a little bit lacking. As it's coming around. Yeah, it's not reaching this corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, uh, put it where it'll come out farther. I'll go and turn it so it'll come out a little bit stronger. I think I have it on medium. And I'm going to put it where it comes out a little stronger. And then uh, it will get over to here. Got my long sleeves on, guys. I got my long pants on under my skirt. I just like a legging. I used to wear it in the winter time because it was very, very cold. If you wear skirts, it's very cold in the winter time. So you got to put something on under it. So that's what I have. They're actually 32 degree heat. If you guys know 32 degree brand, they have a cool and they have a heat. So my jacket is a 32 degree cool. It's got a hat on it. Show you guys, I don't know what I look like guys. I'm a hot mess probably, but here's my hat. I tie it up and then I'm out here. I spray myself. So I don't play with those mosquitoes anymore. <laughs> I think um, what it was, I think I mentioned this in the last video, but the mosquitoes here are very tiny. And the mosquitoes that I'm used to are like four times the size or three times the size. So I would not have expected the mosquitoes to be so tiny here. So I think that's what it is. It's almost like a gnat. It's a bigger than a gnat, but almost. So... I did come down here. It was a blessing. My husband helped me. He fed the big animals. 
up there. And then he also um, fed the yard animals. He fed the yard animals. And, oh, that's the water. And the ones that don't get up in the ark yet, um, the ones that don't get up in the ark yet, he fed them something out here. So now everybody's just going around eating whatever. So that's what's going on. I um, think we have a small issue with Big Mama. I think we are going to exchange her. Guys, sorry to give you that news, but the problem is she's not letting the other ones eat. So we have uh, Mariama, our new sheep, and we have Baby Dalmatian. Oops, Baby Dalmatian. And Big Mama is not letting them eat. Big Mama's super jealous of Baby Girl. There she comes. So um, the man was advising us that if that happens, the the other animals, they won't eat. Those three won't eat and they'll get sick. So I think what they're going to do, they're going to trade um, her. They have, they're right up the road. So they're going to trade her with another one for us. So that she will, um, she will have a home. She will have a home. And then... We'll have another one, a different one, and then everybody can get along here. She's the main problem. So it's a little bit sad, but God knows. So big mama, maybe this weekend, I'm not sure. And you see, guys, she's getting up there with Oh, she's eating the chicken poop. Huh. Mama, you have food. You have food. Why are you eating chicken poop? Well, to each his own. Rooster, what were you doing up there with Mama? You want a fine job, Mama. Is it getting close? Because I know you're tired. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going on down here. I'm watering the garden. Um, we'll go this way and I'll show you guys. Over here. Mariama. <laughs> Baby Dalmatian. Hello. Hello. They're getting used to me, guys. They are. They're coming closer. So I'm thankful for that. So my husband came from the farm and this morning he's really really been helping me because he needs to get he needs to leave early so he can get to the farm early to um, pray for him they're gonna buy some corn today guys and they'll be buying some fresh corn from the farm so we're praying that we get a fair price and Everything goes on well. It's our first time selling fresh corn. So he needed to get out, but he did help me with that. And I'm very thankful. And here is the new coconut. So we got that going on. We got um, this sweet berry tree right here doing very well. I still got to get out and plant the moringa that I want to plant. I would love to plant it all around this garden and the rest of the way around this one. I would love to do that. I'm going to take you guys for a little walk and we're going to come over here. Um, guys, yesterday my husband had uh, showed me a video about taking uh, cassava leaves. I've taken jute leaves. 
taking cassava leaves and boiling them for 15 to 20 minutes and then drinking one glass of the water a day. So I started yesterday drinking the glass of water because I don't know how to cut the lemongrass, but I cut it. And I've been also drinking lemongrass tea. I mixed it with my black tea. Guys, that tastes amazing. It's so good. So good. The flowers are looking beautiful. I hope and pray that I'll be able to get out and um, sit out here and enjoy a little bit today. This um, miracle leaf, I took it from the other bigger plant and I took one leaf and I did chew it. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. I had to wait till I finished taking my uh, malaria medicine because you know herbs and pharmaceuticals don't always mix well. So I was being careful with that. So here is the watermelon. It's doing really well, guys. It has some flowers. The contumery is growing up very nicely. No evidence of the sugar cane as of right yet, but it's still early. It takes it a little bit, but the contumery is growing very nicely. So we'll have our own little contumery patch. And that's what's going on here. Like I said, my husband's off to the farm. So we thank God for him. We thank God for his health, his strength, his wisdom, discernment, and all that is necessary to do all of these things here at the mini farm and at the 50 acre farm. Guys, it, it is really a lot. If you sit back and look at it, we we hit the ground running and we've taken on a lot. And God's so good. It's only by his grace that we are able to accomplish anything that we've accomplished so far. Puppies are doing good. They're getting big. I'll try to get you guys a little puppy video later with an update. Um, they're really doing great. So I think with that, I'm going to let you guys go. I'll give you a little, like I said, update with the puppies and how everything's going on. I need to get over there and do something with the water and be able to water that corner over here. Because my husband planted, I believe, the blood orange back in that corner. And we need that to get some water. So I'm going to take care of that. Nana is up. He's doing his things and um, getting ready for school. I'm going to feed him his favorite breakfast and take him on to school. It's Friday, so he is excited. They get to wear a Friday uniform and they play a little bit more, I believe. And then, of course, it's the weekend. So I think we're going to get him down here maybe tomorrow morning and have him help us a little bit so he can get used to doing the water and stuff like that for the animals. Mm -hmm. He really loves doing that. So we'll let him do that tomorrow. All right, guys. Till next time. God bless you.